Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have a DIY of how I made these cute kawaii erasers. They worked perfectly well and they just look so kawaii and be perfect for back to school. So the way I made these was I actually took this DIY eraser kit that I bought off of Amazon a few years ago and it's just full of all different colours of like eraser clay. Basically when you cook it, it then turns into an eraser. What I also used was this silicone mould that I picked up from Etsy. I actually purchased this to make little um, kawaii charms for myself. I haven't actually used it yet but I know I bought it a few years ago as well. But it's just been kind of like hanging around in my craft box. Anyway, so what I did was I took some of that eraser clay and moulded it in my hand till it warmed up and was nice and conditioned. And then what I did was I cut the ball in half and then just popped it inside the silicone mould. I really pressed down and spread it out so that it was able to get into all the little details. And then I cut off the excess from the top. Now you wouldn't have to do this if you cut the like right amount of clay to begin with. But I had too much so I just used this blunt kind of little knife to cut off any excess that I had. I then peeled it from the mould and then just trimmed off any excess bits because again I still had some as I put too much clay into the mould. Once completely happy with the first one, I then went ahead and did the exact same thing with another. I did use a lot less clay this time so I didn't really have any excess to cut off. Once these two pieces were out, I then took some of the white eraser clay and just rolled that into a ball and squished it down. And then I just put it in between the two kind of macaron casing and then popped the bottom and the top either side of the white and pressed it down. I then went ahead and made a purple one and I also made a bright pink one also. You can mix these colours, I have done it in the past and it works out okay. Um, but yeah, I just used the colours straight out of the pack. I will try to leave all the details and everything like that down in the description down below. But if they don't make it anymore, I know Fimo definitely do a set of eraser clay also. Anyway, I then baked these in the oven for 30 minutes and let them set for about an hour. And then once they were out of the oven, I took some acrylic paint and just painted on some little faces. These faces might rub off in the future or just peel off. This I find happens on all erasers, whether they're printed on or painted. But you just don't want to take too much time doing the faces as you might lose them in the future. I tend to kind of use the other side to erase first where like the face isn't. And then I just use it like a normal eraser and they just sort of like peel off onto the paper. They don't usually leave marks, I think that's because I use acrylic paint. But I have used acrylic paint on erasers before and yeah, like I just said, it just peels off when it's kind of ready to use that bit where the face is. So I just basically pop the face on with dot tools and some pins for the detail. And yeah, that was it really. So the faces are completely optional but basically once that paint is completely dry your erasers are then complete. So this is the squishy notebook that I made a few videos ago and I basically just drew out with a pencil to kind of show you that they really do work really well just like any other eraser would except this time you was able to make your own creation. You can go even wilder than I did making different shapes and stuff with this clay which is the greatest thing about it. Like I said, I will try to leave the link in the description for the exact clay that I use, but I do know that Fimo, like, you know, the Fimo brand, do do their own as I have had it before, and it worked out well, it was just kind of expensive, so yeah, I would recommend using this clay. I will also make sure to leave the link down in the description for the notebook used in this video as it was a DIY, and I think the combination of the macaron and the lollipop notebook looks so good together and would be such a great set for back to school so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you tomorrow bye